Welcome to Tech Presence with Dom In this video, we are going to learn how to solve this problem when you are getting this type of error, unable to connect to the Azure VM or doing the RDP. So, error what you will get, uh, this is uh, the error you will get, uh, remote desktop cannot connect to the remote computer or one of the, uh, because of the uh, following reasons. Uh, remote access to the service is not enabled, the remote computer is turned off, the remote computer is not available on the network, and uh, you know, so uh, different things that uh, you will see right here. Main the message when you do RDP to the Azure VM. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here is my Azure VM. So first of all, I'm on the portal and I can go to my resource group in which I have created the VM. Armor VM is the, the machine uh, or virtual machine I have created. Now if I go right there and uh, I can see that uh, what's happening, um, the status is running. So that means uh, uh, if somebody's saying like, oh, uh, in the error you were saying like, oh, my computer might be stopped or uh, something like that, that's possible. If you have stopped the computer, then you are going to get that error as well. But uh, first of all, check the status if it is running, uh, then uh, let's take a look at what we can do here. Now we are going to go to connect and do the RDP. And once we do the RDP, it is asking us, uh, okay, you want to connect to this IP, that's a public IP assigned to this uh, VM, and you will be connecting on the port uh, 3389. So if you are going to connect on this port, uh, this port has to be added to the inbound uh, ports, right? So otherwise, uh, you're going to get that error. So we go to network in here, and in the network, in, uh, we have uh, inbound, inbound ports uh, rules, uh, and we have uh, outbound uh, Port rules. So here, if you see that that port is not there, so that's the reason we will not be able to connect. So, anyways, let's go to the overview and connect RDP and download the RDP file. Double click on that, and it is connecting to this IP, and it will be connecting on 3389 port. If I will try to connect, let's see what happen. So finally we got this error, see the same error what I showed you in the starting and the reason is that the port 3389 is not added to the inbound port rules. So we are going to close this, go back to the network and here what we will do, we will add inbound port rule. Once you come here, what you are going to do, you can leave everything as it is, just come to the port right there and the port 8839. Uh, sorry 3389 and then uh, in the priority you see that priorities uh, uh, so the 65,000 uh, that's where it's starting so if I will put something 100 or 200 or 500 so this will uh, take the preference uh, so this will come on top of it uh, so let me uh, maybe just leave as it is and put uh, some name to it uh, 3389 so hit add so it is uh, creating a security rule right now and uh, once it's added it's going to show us right here Okay, so the rule is added, see right there, so we can go further there, take a look, so you can uh, uh, see, let me go back to the network and again, uh, these are our input and uh, uh, we can go back to network and VM and uh, we should be in the network and, and see right there, now we have this uh, rule there, so it is on priority 100 port, uh, this is a name and uh, this is the port, you know, and coming from any protocol that I left everything as it is, you can further specify the protocol types and all that. So now we can go and try again, connect RDP, and uh, this is uh, the IPS, and now we will uh, double click on the RDP file, connect, and uh, now it's asking us username and password, so to be user, my password, and now it is asking for the certificate, yes, and finally, if we are able to connect to our VM. So most of the time, that's, that's, uh, that's the reason you are not able to remote the desktop to your VM because the port 3389 is not added to the inbound port rules. So by adding that in the input, uh, in, inbound port rules, you will be able to do the RDP to your VM. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.